Hello everybody, welcome back to the Food and Drink Chronicles. I'm here at Surfside Inn, and today is the day for the Orlando Informer event. So the Orlando Informer event will start at approximately three o'clock, four o'clock, somewhere around there. So at four o'clock, you can go and you can get your bonus bites. Bonus bites include like pizza, sliders, and some boneless chicken wings. After that, they'll open up the park, and I think you can go in at about four o'clock, and <laughs> Uh, at about 9, 9 p.m., you can go and you can get your actual food from different parts of the park. So they offer all kinds of stuff. I mean, we're talking like crusty burgers, uh, food from Three Broomsticks, uh, food from the comic book area, almost anywhere you can think of, there's food and unlimited food. And not just unlimited food, unlimited drinks. So what does that mean? Unlimited ghillie water, unlimited pumpkin juice, an unlimited butter beer. So while we're gonna be in the parks, we actually got these interactive wands. So I got the Yaxley wand, as you saw in my last video, and then my wife got the Professor McGonagall wand. So these are the interactive wands. I don't know if you all can see those tips on there, but these are the ones that we will be using uh, to cast spells and do other things. So it should be pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to get to the parks, we're going to line up for the Orlando Informer event, and we're going to hop on in. Now, a little side note here, the weather is really, really bad. There's a lot of rain outside, so I don't think we're going to get to ride <laughs> any of the roller coasters. But luckily, we can do some other rides. You know, they got uh, Escape from Green uh, they got the Forbidden Journey, there's the Fast and the Furious, uh, Skull Island, there's all kinds of rides. Just unfortunately, we may not be able to do the Velocicoaster or Hagrid's Motorbike ad Adventure unless the rain does clear up, which we're hoping it does. But if not, I think we're gonna have a good time. I mean, there's plenty of food to eat, there's plenty to drink. So let's do this. for the Orlando Informer, we're at Islands of Adventure, and it is raining again, but we're doing this. All right, so we are now passing through the back area. You can see the Hard Rock Cafe, the Chocolate Emporium, Islands of Adventure entrance. Yeah. The Orlando Informer, people. We've got stage 19. So cool. So I was hoping to film with my regular camera, but there's way too much rain. So unfortunately I'm back on the cell phone again. It is what it is. At least we're out here. There's a circus for the screen. Pretty cool. So we're at Circus Magurkus for the first uh, bite zone. I guess it's the only bite zone. So once you leave this place, that's it. You can't come back. You can only do a one and done. So whatever you eat here, you can't take with you. That's basically it. This is awesome though. So I got a cheeseburger. I got some pizza. And some fruit. I'm gonna begin right now. And so it's the last, you got the penne pasta and the chicken. It looks pretty good. All right, so I had to go back for a second. I just grabbed the penne pasta and a cookie. This is not disappointing. That was a lot of food. And we had cheeseburgers, pizzas, uh, penne pasta. Some uh, cookies, some fruit. Oh, and also, a little bit of soda pop, some soda pop. Kind of helped me going throughout the day. Got some caffeine to get on all these rides. <clears throat> can be stuff though. Probably a good thing we're not doing the roller coasters, but it's raining anyway, so what does it matter? We won't be doing the roller coasters. But yeah, we're about to venture back out and try to do some rides. Play. So we're gonna do the Seuss ride first, but now we're going to do the river adventure at Jurassic Park. So we're on the way over there. What is this? The ancient area, huh? Mythos, we're in Mythos. 
Which currently Poseidon's Fury is closed for refurbishments. Probably needs to be. Not the best ride, but it's actually pretty cool. The Lost Continent. That's what it's called. Well, Mythos, I think, is the restaurant. Yeah, which is, it's in the same area. Right, so here is the Lost Continent, Poseidon's Fury. Very neat setup. There's Medusa. Oh, wait, is that Medusa? No. No? Who is that? Hello. I don't know what these people are supposed to be. This is pretty cool. Hello. Yep, filming it. Hello. How are you doing? Doing well. This is so cool. Yeah, he's really tall. Man, there's just all kinds of action going on today. <laughs> So we are approaching Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade. Pretty close to Hogwarts. But we're actually on our way to Jurassic Park. I guess we're gonna have to go through the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So unfortunate for us. There's the Hogsmeade Express, the Hogwarts Express, <laughs> the Hogsmeade. This place is extremely crowded. But hey, you know, when you come to Universal, you have to go to the Wizarding World. It's like if you go to Disney World, you have to go to Galaxy's Edge. They're the franchises. But, nevertheless, this place is really cool. We'll be back later. I'm sure it'll be less busy once the OI event starts. Here's the Owl Post. Ollivanders. You can get your Ollivander wand. We have plenty of wands though. Alright, we are at Jurassic Park now. We're just going everywhere. But we're here for the Jurassic Park River Adventure. So the Velocicoaster is open. I don't know if we'll have time to do it. There it is. So there's the Raptor Encounter. Really cool. It's kind of interesting, this place is uh, just starting to transition really into Jurassic World. I wonder when it will no longer be Jurassic Park. I guess it could always be Jurassic Park because, you know, they have that science center. But they can always convert that, right? Oh, and look, the Velocicoaster. I would like to ride it tonight. That would be so awesome. So far it isn't raining. Maybe I'll get on it. There they go.
dock ahead. Do not get out of the boat. This place looks interesting. There's a doctor here. Grab it. What, there's a drop? Yeah. Grab your phone. Grab it. Woo! Man, I'm soaked already. Gosh. Is it gonna drop? Yeah. Okay. I needed it with my losing my phone. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, we're about to get soaked. Now this is where we would take our dogs if we could take them to Universal. They would love this place. Alright, we are in Marvel Land. Huh? This isn't Toontown. <laughs> it's Marvel Land. Where is it? I don't know. This reminds me of uh, the comic books that I used to collect back in the 90s when I was a kid. And I did this Spider Man ride probably about 20 years ago. It's a 40 minute wait right now. I hope to get on it pretty soon once the uh, OI event starts. Which we got there about six hours early, so oh the Hulk coaster, that's another one I want that I want to do. I'm just really hoping it doesn't rain, which I don't think it will. I think the rain is done for. Anyways, I'm gonna go and try and do Dr. Doom's free fall. There it is, Dr. Doom's Fear Fall. Is it free fall or fear fall? Fear fall. Alright, Dr. Demon's Free Fall is pretty scary. I'm glad I didn't film on that ride because I probably would have dropped my camera. Which would have been a good drop test for my phone. But yeah, not doing it. 
to get on to the Hogwarts Express. All right, we've made it to London. I don't know why, but we're in London. So we just took the Hogwarts train, and now we are in Universal Studios, Florida. We just left Adventure Island. The side of the park is uh, much more empty compared to Adventure's Island. I don't know why that is. Maybe there's less roller coasters over here. I mean, they still have rides over here. And they have da Dagon Alley. Oh, look, a movie theater. Oh, no, it's an arcade. Mummy's up and running. We'll do that one later. Here's a Jurassic World tribute store. Probably try to check that out after we go to Jimmy Fallon's. And this is kind of cool. This roller coaster goes through the building. I want to ride this one. And there's Jimmy Fallon. So we are in Jimmy Fallon's. We're in the lobby right now. <laughs> kind of cool. It's like a hotel. And this really looks and feels like a studio. And I got memorabilia. Huh. And a pendant. Engine. Hmm. Pretty cool. So is this it? Hmm? No? Oh, we're going to the uh, laboratory? Some pretty good theming. Now we're going to the laboratory. Wow. What is that, a lounge fly for Jurassic Park? That's interesting. I think I hear dinosaurs up there. Dilophosaurus? What is this? I wonder where they have like the egg embryos at. That is so cool. Like cocoa puffs? What? Oh, these? Wasn't that like dinosaur food to feed the dinosaurs with? <laughs> I like these banners up here. Those are really cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they got like it's like dirt in a jar, and they got Velocicoaster pops, cupcakes. <laughs> The embryos look really cool. Can you see the embryos? I kind of want to get an embryo. No. Fossilized amber for $7. Eggs you can eat. 
Brooklyn and they got little baby dinosaurs in there. Hmm. They got a fossil bar. <laughs> oh, they got the uh, churro candle. Pretty sure there's some interesting scents. The pack hunt. The Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus stream. Triceratops trail. What is that? East Dock? Looks pretty interesting. I bet they smell good. More dino plushies. John Hammond. Alright, so we're about to try the marshmallow, what is it? Marshmallow Velocicoaster pop? Dino pop? It looks really good. That is really good. Hmm. Very marshmallowy, very sweet. It's like a chocolate coating on it and a little bit of uh, sprinkles. It's like bones. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's really good. These drinks are actually really good, and that was a good show. Hey, we were in Dagon Alley. The Weasleys. Oh, I thought the dragon was flying away. Helicopters are flying around so much. Anyways, we're going into the Nocturne Alley. Get the uh, wand for Lord Voldemort if you uh, spend two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, I think Mad Eye Moody's in this trunk. Yeah. He's stuck in there. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what fifty eight dollars? No, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be a cool thing to get though. Oh, Delicious mouth like. Like the name of the oh, that's bookends. Yeah, that bookend. That's like Lingu fifty bucks. Linguini. No, that's not linguini. No. Yeah, well, that's a basilisk. Basilisk. Oh, I thought ling linguini might have been next to it, but <laughs> that's not linguini either. Hmm. Yeah, the Deathly Hollow necklace is really neat looking. What's this supposed to be? Mm-hmm. 
That's a Nocturnelli? Oh, that's cool. I can barely get it though. Hmm. So Celeste is going to try and cast a spell right now. I don't know what it's going to do. But what's the, the spell? I have no idea. I need the thing. Oh. <laughs> so is, does the map actually tell you how to do it? See like the night sky if you look up. It's pretty neat. Good old Borgen and Burks. That's where Death Eaters get their supplies from. What is this, bats? It's kind of spiders. Are you casting a spell? I'm trying to. So to make this one... Oh yeah, there it goes. What did you do to the bird? <laughs> Whoa. Now he's really cool. What is this supposed to be? Bats and skin? Hmm. So I would think by this hour the park should be almost clear. I'm anxious to see what this place looks like right now. Oh, it's still full. <laughs> this isn't what I was expecting. Oh, look at the dragon though. That's cool. Oh, this thing's supposed to make water, right? I think somebody made the lights turn on. Somebody made the lights turn on. That was cool. Yeah, you, you actually did a spell. Yeah. That, work. that, take a, that took a while. Yeah, go back. You can make the lights turn on. Those lights over there. <laughs> yeah, you did it! I did yeah! It's <laughs> good. A phoenix. Yeah, that's fine. No, I think it's 
already working. Yep, it's stuck. This place is starting to light up a bit. Oh look, escape from green guts. So do you want to do this or do you want to make your way across the park to do uh, hybrids? Did I forget to put your hat up? Hopefully you uh, don't have to put it in a locker. That's another two bucks, right? I guess this is a walk-on. I think it would normally be, you know, be a walk-on during the day anyways. So this is where I go banking at. It's uh, much better than Bank of America or Citibank. You know, you go to Gringotts, you can do withdrawals, fast checking. Some kind of bookkeeping? Oh. All the ledgers? I don't think I've ever seen Elf Farmer. Interesting. I don't know what this spell does. Can you see it? It's like an S. You have to speak partial tongue. There you go, you did it. Man, these are not left-handed friendly. <laughs> <laughs> This one for some reason is not left-handed. Is it to be right-handed? No. Aww. That's funny. I was wondering. Because did I know to do stuff? There we go. We did it. I did it. I'm a witch. So we're at, what is this? It's not, it's not that three broomsticks, is it? Oh, we're at the Leaky Cauldron. And I just got the, the cottage pie. So I just got the cottage pie. And it's not a Harry Potter trip without having butterbeer. So I got regular cold butterbeer. Celeste got the frozen butterbeer. What do you think of the frozen butterbeer? Good. I it over the cold. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, the cold is really good. Nice and foamy. I'm gonna try your frozen. I don't know. They're both really good. So we also had the butterbeer ice cream that they were just passing out. So as you're waiting for the ice cream line, and somebody, somebody was passing out these little ice creams. Uh, butterbeer ice cream is okay. It's all right. Butterbeer is much better though. Cottage pie is very good. I mean, just like what, potatoes and beef? You can't go wrong with that. All right, we just did the Simpsons ride. I will never do this ride again. That was painful. So we're at the Simpsons area, we just got a hot dog. It looks pretty good. We have relished it and ketchup did it. Yeah, I don't know if I said that right. You gonna try it? <laughs> Is it good? It's good. Hmm. Not bad. Mm -mm. All right, so we got the crusty burger, the fries, corn dog, tater tots, and chicken thumbs. Oh, and I can't forget the duff here. All right, so we start with the corn dog. We're good. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This is so much food. 
Scare Dot. These Scare Dots are really good. It's so quiet in here. So we're in Moe's Tavern right now. Um, just kind of chowing down. Really good. These are the chicken toes, or what do they call them? Chicken toes. Chicken toes. So the Krusty Burger is really good. The corn dog is really good. I haven't had the fries yet, though, from the Krusty Burger. I like it too. It's a lot of food, but it's a good deal. This phone's been ringing for a while. I guess I should pick it up. Hello. Anyways, we're gonna sit next to Mel House and we're gonna eat our taco. That thing keeps on going off. Thank you, Mel House. So I got a chicken taco. Pretty good, right? Mm. So we got chips with no sauce on them. From the bubble tuna part. But really good. Really good tacos. Okay. What's in the house? These are the Korean tacos from the Bumblebee food truck. Let's see how they taste. Is it good? interested in extending my warranty at the moment. No, I'm good. Thank you. Bye. All right, so somehow we've found ourselves back in London again. <laughs> We're going to platform nine and three quarters. This will be fun. So Disney is where the magic is, right? That's what everybody says. But at Universal Studios, they have Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. That's also where the magic is. Forbidden Journey. This castle's awesome, y'all. It's so lovely at night. I mean, it doesn't look that great on camera, but in real life, it's something else. Oh, cool. We are in where the 
dark arts classroom is. It's so dark in here. You can't see anything. There's the fat lady. How are you people? Uh, what's How am I supposed to make you all live? There's a bunch of passwords in this. There's not a lot of us. This school can you sound like a circus organ? The trolley train can boop. How about you? Can you go Say, how about a walrus? Or the whistling breeze of a flying trapeze? Swoop, zoom, zoom! The mighty trolley train makes a loud hullabaloo. It's the sound of fun! Can you make it too? Wee! Wee! Woohoo! Down to? Bang bocha! Bang bocha! <laughs> Alright, so we are back in my work. Uh, just for a little bit. You have to step in to the office. Now we're on the Spider Man ride. Pretty cool though. Alright, last ride of the day Kong Skull Island. This place sounds really creepy right now. <laughs> oh, he scared us. <laughs> Maybe that was a god. Don't look so mighty now. This place gives me a creep. Okay, so we had a blast at the Orlando Informer Meetup. Oh, by the way, this is Future Ted. So, at about 1.30 a.m., uh, that's when we actually left the park. And transportation was a little backed up, but it was fine. It's understandable. I mean, there's a lot of people that were there. I will say this though, Surfside Inn, uh, probably all the hotels, had really great transportation. So, the next time I go to the Orlando Informer, which will be in November, I will be staying at Surfside Inn again. Now, here are the rides that I got to ride on, just to recap. Uh, I did go on Jurassic Park River Adventure. That was when the park first opened up for the Orlando Informer event. Uh, I did the Dr. Doom Fearfall. That was also not during the event. Popeye and Bluto's Bill's Rat Barge. Hogwarts Express. Race Through New York star starring Jimmy Fallon. And then by the time the event started, uh, we did escape from Gringotts, which that was a walk-on. Actually, from there on, every ride was a walk-on. Uh, we did The Simpsons, we did The Mummy, we did The Harry, the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, uh, The Flight of the Hippogriff, Seuss Trolley, Cat in the Hat, Spider-Man, and Kong Skull Island. I will say this, for the majority of the rides that we got on, uh, there was like nobody on it. It was just me, my wife, maybe like another couple, uh, maybe nobody at all. I remember when I got on Seuss Trolley, I think, no, I'm sorry, the Cat in the Hat. When I got on the Cat in the Hat, it was just my wife and I. For the Simpsons ride, just my wife and I. And the Mummy, there was another person on there, and there were some people that were scared out of their witch. That was a, that was a pretty scary ride. All in all, it was a great time. And like again, like I said, we do plan on being back in November, so keep an eye out for more videos. And in July, we'll be taking a trip to Disney World, so be on the lookout for those videos. And for my next video, you'll see me in an ampy car. 
So with that being said, this is it for my video. Food and Drink Chronicles out. Yeah.